I don't think that people realize the fact that 20 years ago, 20 years ago, at Carnegie Mellon, Dean Pomerleau and his group built a car that drove 97% of the way across the country with no one holding the wheel. Getting a car to not drive off the road on a highway is not hard. That's like a graduate student and you know tens of thousands of dollars for like a couple months now. That's not the hard part. It's going from kind of working in some situations to working better than a human in all of the situations that a human does that is four or five orders of magnitude harder. And so yes, it's been 20 years. Certainly we've not been the only uh, groups involved, I think. You know, arguably Alphabet has started the resurgence or the ramp up of taking this area seriously from an industrial, from a corporate perspective rather than an academic um, area of investigation. And I'm incredibly excited about the work that we've done over the last seven and a half years. We've done two million miles of driving. And again, to not like drift out of your lane Good, like <laughs> that's table stakes. Um, but when someone walks out into the middle of the road holding a, a stop sign in their hand, that's a legal requirement. You all know as human drivers, you have to stop. But if a truck were to drive by with an octagon painted red that said stop on it, and there's some cute cow next to it or whatever, it's just an ad, you all would know you don't have to stop. It's the physically same atoms, potentially, in the same piece of the road, but you understand that one of them means you actually have to stop and one of them means you don't. If a human walks out into the street and does this and then beckons some cars by, even if they're not wearing a special vest, you would know to take them seriously and that this means you have to stop and that they're gonna go now, okay, now you can come. If our car can't do that, and the stop sign and 10,000 other things like that, then we, nor is any company, really ready to be on the road yet. So that's actually the project, is not the, oh, it's a red light, I guess I have to stop. It's that long tail of things making these decisions so well that we could feel confident in saying, this car is driving better than a person.